What's up guys, DJ Mike James here, coming at you again with another product review. Again, I uh, want a big, big shout out for everybody that's been uh, liking, commenting, subscribing on my channel. Like I said, just broke 200. Um, I really appreciate the love and support. Uh, keep it up, make sure you uh, hit the subscribe button and comment. Like I said, if you got any questions or there are particular things you want to see me try to do with some of these lights and kind of we can learn together like how to get some of this stuff done. I've got another product review for you. Uh, like I said, a company contacted me about doing some of these videos. So uh, I want to go through here. I got another box opening. I'm not quite sure what's in here exactly just yet, but uh, let's get into it. I want to see what this is now. You guys. seen my last video it was an 18 by 10 waterproof light and I think they're sending me something else close to that so I'm gonna look in here and see what we've got all right a box in a box in a box in a box all right so now that we're down to this box let's take a look and see what we got here uh, also, as I go through these lights, uh, I'll give you the brand and I'll try to give you some of the pricing information on them, at least what it is as of today. Uh, it might change as by the time the videos air, things along those lines, but uh, as you guys know, I try to give you the, uh, the most accurate information that I can. All right, so we've got our functions channeling here, which always helps because I definitely look at those. It says LED lighting, operating manual for a PAR light. Let's take a look at what we got here. All right, this one, the bracket is not connected to it, so I'll get into that. All right. I can already tell by the look of it, this is an 18 by 10. I'm hoping that all the LEDs are the same and it's pretty close to the other one that we had gotten. Uh, if you guys watched my last video, you will see another 18 by 10, but the waterproof version, as you guys can see, it's got aluminum fins for cooling, a nice big fan in there, power in, all of our modes up, down, enter, DMX in and DMX out. These are pretty impressive lights. So uh, while you guys sit there, I'm gonna get the bracketing on this because it was on the other one already, but not on this one. I'm gonna get but in the meantime, I do want to get this plugged up. Looks like maybe like maybe a three foot IEC cable, which is nice because that marries up to pretty much every other light that I have. I run mostly IEC, even though I know that the wave right now is switching to PowerCon. Sorry guys, I'm just getting this plugged in real quick. You know, the wave right now is switching to PowerCon, but uh, I, I kind of have so many IECs already, I kind of like that option. So just real quick, as you can see here, love the big screen. I'm assuming that these functions are going to be real close to the last 18 by 10. I'm going to go through the modes. We have red. Of course, we know that we have everything on right now. So I'm going to go through and turn everything off. Here's a nice uh, strobe. strobe. So we have eight channel. Nice color though. I mean, it is super bright. I like that. As I keep going through here, let me check and see what my CL is. It is different colors up down change strobe next one is color jump let's try that one all right and that's color jump it's all the way up to 99 so if i go up one more that's going to slow that down considerably on that color jump probably make it more of a gradual and there's our uv so i definitely like that uv is always such a cool color to have uh, there's been times when i've had people that have actually wanted to do UV parties and these lights would probably have the coverage to do something like that. So now that I'm into the uh, color gradient, let's go to the next one. This is color jump. This one's going to be our color gradient. Ooh, and I like that. And again, it's set all the way up, so it's moving pretty quickly. If I push up, it's going to send that to zero, and now it's going to move a little bit slower. And I really like that gradual change. Next one is going to be 
colored pulse. Ooh, I like that. I like how it fades in and out like that. As opposed to a color snap or the gradient. And again, this one is set all the way up so I can't slow this down. Stop it in the UV so you guys can see just how cool that is, kind of switching back in and out there. Really doing that. And then our last setting on here is going to be our sound active. And as you can see, this is red, green, blue, white, and UV, but it has color mixing. As you can see, the louder I get, it's super sensitive right now. So I like that. That's really cool. I'll probably never have it that sensitive because it'll just make people dizzy out there. But honestly, this thing really reacts well. So also, I'll get back with you. I'm going to look up the price point on this particular light. Uh, let you know kind of what they're running and what some of the equivalents are running. As it stands right now, I, I'm really liking these 18 by 10s as far as like just the color wash, the construction. Uh, if they all sync up together and, and I can try that again, just trying them syncing them up with the shed light also, if they'll all run in sync, that'll be awesome because if you're running those types of lights already, these are going to integrate right into your systems and, uh, and really benefit you as far as your as far as your wall wash and, uh, and color wash uh, events, I mean, this is, these are actually really awesome. Okay guys, so uh, as I was going through here trying to work out the DMX, I do have a comparable light here. This is the Shed's light, the 18 by 18 uh, LED PAR light. Uh, it is an indoor use light. It's not weatherproof or anything like that versus the uh, 18 by 10 Zemoj, Z-E-M-O-J, I'm assuming that's some acronym of some sort. Uh, the construction is super similar. There's a few subtle differences in the handles. Uh, there's a little bit of a weight difference between the two lights, but, but not much. I mean, it's not really, uh, an, it's not very discernible. A um, couple other differences, IEC on the Z-E-M-O-J lights, uh, PowerCon on the Shed's light, as you know, we'll let you see. Um, the the, the ZMOJ light will not control the shed's light. However, the shed's light will somewhat control the ZMOJ light. And I think it might have something to do with uh, the different color parameters that are in these, because if you'll watch and you'll see it kind of cycle through this color snap, the uh, ZMOJ light will, uh, will kind of fade out a little bit as this light goes through colors that I don't think are in this light possibly. Um, the shed's light, the fan stays on constant uh, in the ZEMOJ light. It, uh, it kicks on and off, so it must have some type of temperature sensor in there that's sensing when it's getting warm enough, kicks the fan on, cools the light off, shuts down. So, uh, you know, it's whatever you're into as far as that's concerned. Color schemes, real close. I mean, we're talking real close until we get into the colors. Like this one's turning to a fuchsia, this light, is now catching back up in red. So I'm not really quite sure how that's interacting with each other. However, the shed's light will actually control this light to some degree. Um, and that's in the solid colors also. We did go through those. Uh, the solid colors will marry up to some degree. Like I said, this light may have a couple different a couple different colors in it that this one doesn't have. The price point on both these lights is real close. Uh, the Shed's lights, uh, both of them are running about 90 bucks a piece per light. So uh, whichever way you went with that, like I said, uh, this light is really impressive. I like it. It's, it. it's made well. It's operating the same. Some colors are brighter, some colors aren't. I mean, again, I'm trying to get the same projection angle so that we can compare them like side by side. This light may have a couple more colors in it, but that's not a big deal. It just depends on what you're actually using this light for, whether it's up lighting, wash lighting, up on your trussing, um, things along those lines. As it stands right now, I'm pretty happy. I'm, I'm real happy with this light. Uh, I, I think it's gonna come in real handy, especially if I can get the cabling to DMX it to the other 18 by 10 and see if they'll actually uh, DMX together. I'm hoping that they will, maybe not, because this one does have UV in it and the other light doesn't, so there could be a little color complication between the two lights. So make sure you look for this light. This is the ZEMOJ 
18 by 10 LED red, green, blue, white UV plus color mixing. It has eight different modes in it as far as color snaps, washes, things on all the all of your solid colors, um, all of your strobing like that. Make sure you look at the link in the description. Check out this ZMOJ light. I, I really like these. They're, like I said, they're they're bright. They're doing their jobs. Um, Technology may be just a little bit different, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, this light is fantastic. Make sure you smash that like, that like button and, and subscribe. If you got any questions about any of these lights or any of the other videos that I've done, don't hesitate to ask, man. I do uh, I do respond to you guys on there, and I appreciate your support. So, uh, like I said, keep following along. I'm going to do a few more lights here real soon. Got some really big gig vlogs coming up. I'm going to use some of these lights at those events, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. No, there ain't no stopping us. Fly without boarding.